Hi, welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be demonstrating to you the activity on the carboxylic acids. Let us try to know what are the properties exhibited by these carboxylic acids as in the solubility towards water, the solubility towards sodium bicarbonate, and the action of the carboxylic acids on the oxidizing agents. Now, what are these carboxylic acids? Carboxylic acids are those substances produced when the aldehydes are oxidized. So, to trace back, the aldehydes are oxidized products of alcohols, particularly primary alcohols. And when these aldehydes are oxidized, the carboxylic acids are formed. So, the raw material in making the carboxylic acid is the alcohol. So, to start with activity, we are going to perform first the solubility of the different carboxylic acids towards water. We will use 3 ml of water as our solvent to the different carboxylic acids. To the first test tube, we are going to add three drops of the acetic acid. Let's shake it to test whether the acetic acid is soluble in water. Observe. To the second test tube, let us add here the oleic acid. Let's add three drops of this oleic acid to water. Then let's shake it. And I want you to observe what happens. To the third test tube of water, let us add the steric acid. Okay, let's add a pinch of the steric acid. And let's shake it whether it dissolves in the water. Observe what happens. To the next test tube of water, let's put a pinch of the succinic acid to the water. And let's shake it, whether it's soluble or not, in water. To the last test tube with water, let us add the benzoic acid. This is the benzoic acid. We will only use a pinch of this benzoic acid. To 
Let's shake it and try to see if this will dissolve in water. Observe what happens. I would like you to see again the results. The first test tube contains acetic acid with water. This is the oleic acid with in water. This is the stearic acid in water. This is the succinic acid in water and the benzoic acid in water. So I wanted to compare the five test tubes containing the different carboxylic acids, whether they are soluble in water or not. Then the second procedure is, let us try to know the solubility of the carboxylic acids. Same carboxylic acids that we used a while ago towards the 10% sodium bicarbonate. So again, with these five test tubes, let us put sodium bicarbonate into them. So to the first test tube containing the sodium carbonate, let us add three drops of the acetic acid. Observe what happens. Is the acetic acid soluble in sodium bicarbonate? To the second test tube, let us add here the oleic acid. This is the oleic acid. Let's put three drops of this oleic acid to sodium bicarbonate. Let's shake. Observe what happens. To the third test tube, let us put a pinch of the stearic acid. Observe what happens. And to the fourth test tube, let us add the succinic acid. Observe what happens. This is already succinic acid in sodium bicarbonate. And to the last test tube, let us add here the benzoic acid. Observe what happens. Let us compare back the results that of the solubility towards water 
and this solubility towards the sodium bicarbonate. So, for acetic acid in water, this was the result a while ago, and this is the acetic acid towards sodium bicarbonate. Okay, compare this two again. This is the oleic acid in water, and this is the oleic acid in sodium bicarbonate. Compare. Then compare the results with the stearic acid in water and the stearic acid in sodium bicarbonate. With a fourth test tube, this is the succinic acid in water, and this is the succinic acid in sodium bicarbonate. For the fifth test tube, we have the benzoic acid in water and the benzoic acid in sodium bicarbonate. So I would like you to make a comparison of these carboxylic acids solubility towards water and sodium bicarbonate. For the next procedure is the action of oxidizing agent on carboxylic acids. So I have prepared here five test tubes containing the potassium permanganate. Into the first test tube, we will add the acetic acid. And, and we will place this into the water bath. To the second test tube, let us add the formic acid. Then we will put this to the water bath. To the third test tube, let us add the oxalic acid. And let's put this into the water bath. Third test tube, oxalic acid. To the fourth test tube, let us add the succinic acid. And let's put this into the water bath. And to the fifth test tube, let us add here the formic acid. And let us put this into the water bath. Observe what happens to the five dash tubes. So I want you to observe the following. After placing them into the hot water bath for about two to three minutes. I want you to observe what happens. This is the potassium permanganate added with the acetic acid. This is the potassium permanganate added with lactic acid. This is the potassium permanganate added with the oxalic acid. This is the potassium permanganate added with succinic acid. And this is the potassium permanganate added with the formic acid. What I would like you to do is to observe the rate of reaction of these carboxylic acid towards the oxidizing agent, which is potassium permanganate. Which of the five carboxylic acids reacted the first? 
or the most active towards potassium permanganate or which of the carboxylic acids is oxidized by the potassium permanganate. Those are all for the activity on carboxylic acids. What I would like you to do is to make observations, write your observations, and also answer the questions given in the lab card. Kindly submit your output next week. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nesitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.